Good morning from Bonamanzi. As you can see, we are all packed up and ready to go to Gregloe Umfelozi today, Riks. Yeah. Yay. Very excited. But very sad to leave Bonamanzi. It yeah. was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's different, it's tranquil, it's, yo, it's amazing. Yeah, and bird life here yeah, is insane. But the ticks are quite hectic here at Bonamanzi. A we ticked tick. off a lot of birds and the ticks <laughs> ticked off us as well. Yeah. So, but um, luckily no bites so far. Yeah. We just sprayed a lot of peaceful sleep and tabard and I don't think they like that. But no, we saw no. them walking around and had some walking on us, but yeah. yeah. But I had a nice visitor last night <sighs> and then this morning I heard something at the briar and I was like, I guess there's something at the briar and we quickly jumped up to go and look and then it was a herd of impala. There they are, they're still here. <laughs> they're still here, yeah, our resident impalas. Yeah. But anyway, let's go to Chloe and Flozi. Chloe and we're sleeping at Mpila camp tonight. Yeah. Very For three nights. Okay, like let's camp. go. Off we headed to Gelegloe, with some nice welcome committees along the way. all the beautiful scenery and bird calls. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. These views are really like no other. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down We are yeah at Yiltop Camp We are officially in Glegloe Umfelozi At the moment we are on the Glegloe side And we are headed down to Mpila that's on the Umfelozi side But Bonamanzi is still with us here in the car <laughs> um, We got about 6 or 7 ticks at the moment um, that were crawling in and around our car luckily once again none on us so we quickly grabbed the tabard sprayed some more tabard all over hands feet head wherever um, I think we should maybe get some of that bug wash and um, so far we haven't had a tick cling to us or attach or bite us or whatever so I think the tabard is really helping but there's a lot of ticks at um, Bonamanzi. I think maybe yesterday because of the rain they crept into crevices in the car so now they all they're coming out of like Nico's got one coming out of one of the crevices on the steer, steering wheel 
and they're coming out all over <laughs> so it's quite like a treasure hunt where can we find another tick <laughs> not a great treasure hunt I, I like treasure hunt but I don't like this one <laughs> it's not the best gift but anyway um, we'll just have to watch out the next couple of days with the ticks in the car we'll have to fumigate and maybe spray the car with tablet or something um, but yeah, headed down to Mpila now and we are very excited. It's beautiful Ayarix. What are your first impressions of um Khakluwe Umbelosi? You've never been? Never been here. It's very green, very wet. Uh, but it's amazing. It's beautiful. Very eh? hilly. It's like it's Scotland hilly. with a lot of bushes and wildlife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stunning. Rolling hills with rhinos and ticks. <laughs> the ticks come from Bonamanzi, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, okay, let's go and have a look what we can find on the road. Sometimes what you want ain't what you need Sometimes letting go can make your heart bleed Sometimes the road ahead seems dark as night Have some faith in yourself, that's the guiding light You should know that when your dreams have hit the ceiling and fallen back down on the ground Let me tell you, I know the feeling I used to live in that You might take a fall. Still on our way to Mpila camp at the moment. It's about one o'clock. So in the middle of the day. Um, but wow, it's a beautiful, beautiful drive. It's really stunning. Yeah, these hills and how green it is. It's stunning. We took ticked off two new birds on our list as well. Um, the black cuckoo finally. Finally. We've been hearing it this whole trip and haven't um, seen it that I'm so sad. But we haven't seen it yet, so it was good to see it. And then we also ticked off the croaking cysticula, if I'm correct, Rex. We probably have seen it before, but it was sitting next to us, next to us so we can we could identify it nicely. So ticked off those two. And we got about five new ticks in the car as well while driving. <laughs> so it feels like something's crawling on me the whole time. Um, something cool. Big bird. And then we also... Um, saw which is very cool we saw a sombre green bull feeding a jacobin cuckoo the jacobins lay their eggs in other birds um, nests and then <laughs> yeah they what do you call it because they parasite off of them so um, the cuckoos are very naughty like that they lay their eggs in other birds nests so the jacobin cuckoo laid its egg in the sombre green bull's nest and how the sombre green bull has to take care of it but yeah pretty cool
We arrived at Mpila camp, where we were welcomed by the resident war dogs and checked into our cute little cottage. It has everything one needs. Nice beds to sleep on, lovely areas to eat, a fully equipped kitchen with a gas stove and oven. A nice bathroom with a spacious shower, a gas geyser and a clean toilet. And best of all, the stunning view. What more could one want? We are here at Mpila camp in Glichlui Umfalozi in the Umfalozi section of the park. Really beautiful, yeah? We have a beautiful, beautiful view. We are in number eight and Rikus's folks are in number nine, that side. We are quite at the bottom of the camp. The other two man huts are on top, so they have a better view of the landscape. But we are yeah, in the bushes, which means more birds, which is also cool. We're not going to go for an evening drive tonight, I don't think. We are all a bit tired of the car. It was a long drive to here. Not really a long drive from, from Bonomanzi to the gate here at Chloe Mfalozi. That was very short. But through the park, it was quite a long drive. And yeah, just going to have a relaxed afternoon further. We're almost going to start the fire. Hopefully we get a visitor tonight. That would be great. a lazy afternoon around camp with a couple of beers and a few feathered friends. We started our fire and just took in our beautiful surroundings. But Matt tells me you should stay. We had a feast of a meal thanks to my in-laws and then couldn't resist going out for a short evening drive. I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Sleeping by my side What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Being to myself and sit in silence Until I got a call My friend showed up at my door What a beautiful way to end the day we were dancing in the dark with a feeling in our eyes.
we have just had such a cool experience. Our first visitor from our deck was a bush pig. Unbelievable. Chris and I actually saw a bush pig here in KwaZulu Natal. We went to Nambiti Game Reserve for our honeymoon and we saw two bush pigs running on a ridge far away. But that was my only sighting ever of a bush pig in the wild. And one came and visited our stupid pretty much because quickly I had to close the gate. We were scared he was coming up. But I think actually what happened, um, I was cleaning our deep freeze on the grass just just in front of our little stairs um, and I threw out the water obviously the deep freeze riding around and at Makuzu where the generator is not on all the time and so on um, it gets a bit bloody at the bottom so I was just cleaning that all out and I threw out the water and I think it, it ran up to our stoop came and sniffed saw that there was nothing to eat and ran off again it was very quick but so cool he came right to our stairs we really thought he was going to come on to the uh, stoop almost he like ran right for us very very cool amazing sighting second time in my life that i've seen one and it was uh, so 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 close they are massive they don't look that big when they are so far away you can't believe that they are so big very very cool experience i'm so happy about that that's amazing amazing sighting but we have shocking footage of it because um my camera was still on a tripod and rico thought his camera was inside the house but it was actually on the chair right next to him so he ran in and then ran out again and i was trying to wangle the um, tripod so shocking footage but at least we got evidence that the bush pig was yeah and now we are just busy downloading some footage. Rick is sitting out there downloading some footage outside on the decky. And we were sitting there hearing the lions roar in the distance, hearing the hyenas. Haven't seen a hyena yet. None of them have come to our stupid yet, which is actually probably a good thing that they don't get fed maybe as often when I was lost. Yeah, there were a lot of hyenas feels strange to be yeah in between all the people though we spent four nights alone pretty much at Makuzi and then at Bonamanzi as well we were only the ones at our campsite for three of the four nights so yeah <laughs> weird to have so many people around and so many cars but still lovely to be a beautiful area I can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store for us we'll see you guys tomorrow before we hit the hay, we had to film these little guys. These geckos are so entertaining to watch at night when in the bush. They are amazing little hunters and an awesome bug control. Thank you for watching day 10 of our KZN trip. If we misidentified any bird, please drop us a comment below. We added two new lifers to our list today, which means we are one lifer away from 400. We have some very interesting days to come here at Kluglui. Please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on them. And to see if we get that number 400, we will see you in the next one. Boise, Blackuku, Blackuku, Blackuku. Hold on. Lifer! Stop, stop, stop. Oh, wow.